Perwa Motsna. Too short to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes, and Bows Reviews. Shop round the corner for me has got some of this stuff in it for 99p. It's Parwa Motsva, which means in Polish, Pearl Strong. So the brewery is Pearl, or the Pearl Brewery, and Motsna is Strong. That's pronounced Pearlwa. The L with the little line through it is a W sound. Not Perla, as everyone calls it over here. Um, I know I'll do anything about this brewery. Um, all I know is it's the biggest independent brewery in Poland, and it's based in a place called Lublin, which is in obviously in Poland. Um, it's a strong beer. It's 7.6 percent. It's a 500 ml can, which is basically a pint. I don't know whether this is going to be electric soap or really nice. Um, I really don't know. I'm just going to take it for what it is. It's a strong lager, bottom fermented lager. So, what are we getting there? Bit of hot bitterness, bit of spirit alcohol, which I'd expect from 7.6. In fact, it's quite a bit of it. It's almost bourbon like. There's hops in there. Not much malt. Let's get it in the glass. This could be pretty rancid or it could be quite nice. Now I've tried a few Polish beers in the past. I tried Tisky which is widely available in the UK. Obviously there's been a lot of Polish um, immigrants who've settled over here and work over here so they want to drink their own beer, understandable. Um, a lot of shops have started selling it, especially there's Polish supermarkets and uh, I've tried Zsivjec which is nice. Um, what was the other one? Yeah, Tisky, which was absolute shit. Tasted of absolutely nothing. Um, there's one called Lek as well. Didn't think much of that at all. There it is in the glass. Amber colour. Fair bit of carbonation. The head has dissipated a bit. In fact, that's more of a head than I would have thought would have been in there with that high alcohol content. Let's get it down the hatch. Well, that's interesting. Right, there's a lot of spirit alcohol in that. That's the sort of overwhelming dominant flavour. There's very sweet malt in that, almost syrupy like the sort you'd get in like a a barley wine or something like that. In fact, it's quite strange because it smells like there's bits of, or elements of hops in there. But when you, when you get it on the palate, it's very sweet. Not artificially sweet but like you'd ex you'd expect from a high alcohol beer maybe um, like a Belgian a Belgian dark it does remind me of that a little bit um, this is cold by the way so I'm probably muting a lot of them flavors there's slight alcohol warming as it's going down as well. Um, do I like it? 
it's got a touch of the tenant super Carlsberg special brew syrupy alcohol flavor to it I'm not sure whether I like it or not um, it's what I expect from a, <clears throat> a super strong macro brewed lager um, very very faint sort of whiskey notes to it which is probably coming from the alcohol um, slight alcohol burn as it goes down as well um, it's not Moorish like a Belgian lager of this strength or more would be it's um no nah, it's not it's not really doing it for me um i imagine if you wanted to get drunk really quickly you weren't fussed about the flavor a nice cold one of these would do the trick but it almost it almost smells like a spirit when you when you hold it up to your nose now as it's getting a little bit warmer i'm getting them alcohol notes are really coming through. Yeah, they do a green one, which is the Pils, and that's apparently won quite a few awards. So I'll try and hunt that down next time. Um, as for this stuff, uh, I, I just, I just can't get on with it. Now it's warming up a bit, it's a little bit more drinkable, I think. God, it really does smell spirity though. It smells like a, a watered down whiskey, Scotch whiskey. There's, there's a lot of sweet malt in that, more than anything else. Sweet malt and spirit alcohol. They are dominating it, and there is not much in the way of hops on that at all. The head has virtually gone to nothing, which you'd expect anything like strong alcohol is going to dissipate all that anyway. But uh, it's still got them sweet alcohol notes that I just can't get on with. So, no. I'll give it a 4 out of 10, and I can't recommend it. If you're a fan of them big, really strong, syrupy, macro brewed, special brew stroke tenants type, electric soup type, lunatic soup type alcohols that you'd drink when you was a kid, you'd have one of them and you'd be all over the shop. I imagine you might get on with that. That's like a toned down version. I've had tenant soap. I fuck me, that stuff is lethal. I had it, oh, what was it? I had one can of it on a Saturday night. I've been out on the piss and had one of that. I thought I'd try it, thought it would be a good idea. Oh no, I had four cans of that Kestrel soap decorating my old flat in Wolfram stuff. Fucking hell, it looked like it had been decorated by Stevie Wonder by the time I'd finished with it. So yeah, <laughs> I should review them. Should revisit them now. I'm a little bit older. I was, I was in my twenties when I done that. But yeah. But this, oh, I'm not really a fan. It's not doing anything for me at all. I'll give it a four out of ten, and I'm not going to recommend it, as I say, unless you're a fan of that electric soap type stuff. So yeah. And remember, I'm drinking this shit. So you don't have to.